If the central bank has given you three months from October to December to return your money, what else are you waiting for? Is it the money that refused to come since October to December? Is it that same money you are asking for six months extension? Why? The money that couldn't come from October to this time, where will the money still come from? Because you want to use the money to ring the election. The CBN government on, the, on Sunday 29, 2023 announced the postponement of the submission of the old Naira note, you know. That means the CBN government has extended the submission of the old Naira note, which the deadline was supposed to be on the 31st January 2023. So many Nigerians actually loved the decision of the Central Bank of Nigeria. However, the House of Representatives from a section actually kick against the redesign of the new Naira note, even the postponement that the time is very limited. Now, this become an issue of discussion, and that is exactly what we'll be talking about today. Even, you know, we'll be discussing the, the importance of redesigning the new Naira note, submitting the new Naira note. Does it really have any impact on the Nigeria economy, Kobe insecurity, and conducting free and credible elections. So this is what I'll be discussing with my guests this morning. You know, to discuss this with me is Barrister Godson Ihinobele, a public analyst. You know, he will be dissecting the importance of the new Nera notes. Thank you, Barrister, for your time. Thank you for joining me this morning. The major challenge facing the masses is that the new Nera note is not in circulation and they don't have access to it. And again, we can see it displayed everywhere, you know, in the party. So what do you expect the average Nigeria to do? I think I should really applaud the CBN governor, Godmey Mefele, for the laudable stand he has taken. Because all we need to do is to reorient our people, the masses who doesn't know how it will benefit us on the long run. Because now, since the introduction of the new Naira notes, if you watch, kidnapping ha has reduced drastically. Ransom payment has reduced drastically. Because when you kidnap, remember you are not there. We don't call the family to pay money or to transfer money electronically. They need the bulk cash. They need the money. You go with Ghana must go. Most of you, when they tell you bring a hundred million, bring fifty million, you must load them in Ghana must go and submit it in cash. Since the introduction of this, if that alone is what is even coming down gradually to the benefit of the entire nation, it's a plus to the CBN governor. And we should clap for him. We should encourage him to continue what he is doing. But just that much information is not being given to the entire Nigeria. And that's the only thing a lot of people are. In fact, some people don't even know where they belong. Some people don't even know what is happening. They are neither here or there. So there are so many advantages on this uh, uh, redesign uh, Naira note. Do you know, as we speak, if you'll be going through your social media and other, you could see some people on the either you have so many Garamos gold um, or truckload of money abandoned in some other areas. Some are even the washout. Some are some. In fact, my God has it is so many that you you imagine is this Nigeria currency. So as we speak now, most actually why some of us why why a sizable number of us are happy over the uh, the introduction and the redesign naira note so that if you have your money you don't bring it to the bank it will become worthless to you because as we speak now, if the central bank has given you three months from October to December to return your money. What else are you waiting for? Are you saying the month of October is not enough for you to return whatsoever? Even if it's a truckload of trailer you have as the, the old Naira note, is it difficult for one month to return? If you don't have trailers to hire, if it's that too much, then the project Dangote to give you more trailers. So one month should be enough. If you are saying that uh, 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 October is not enough, okay, you have uh, November. November is not enough. Okay, December has come. Is it at the last hour, not the dying minute, you are crying? And I'm even surprised. Where were the National Assembly? Why, yes, why are they kicking uh, 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 against it? 
If you watch carefully, you see, it's only top politicians at the National Assembly because of their interest, because of their demonic interest, their selfish interest. That's why they're kicking against it. That's why they're asking for extension. Why are you asking for extension? Because you've earned the money for you to ring the election. Because many of the 95% of the people you have in the National Assembly, both rep and Senate, they are going back. Their intention is to go back. They are all candidates of their various party. They don't have this new Naira to spread on the election. Remember, we introduced cashless policy, and everybody clapped for cashless policy. If it is cashless policy, okay, why do you not need the old Naira for election? Let the old Naira go. If you are clean and sincere, return the old Naira that you have. And if, we, in fact, graciously, a Mephila has even announced, you will not be, nobody will be prosecuted, nobody will be arrested whatsoever Naira that you brought. If you like, use Dangote trailer to bring them. They will receive it. It's your money. Come and lodge them in the bank. You refuse to bring them. Is it the money that refused to come since October till December? Is it that same money you are asking for six months extension? Why? The money that couldn't come from October to this time, where will the money still come from? Because you want to use the election, you want to use the money to ring the election. We say no as it is now. MFLM, we are supporting you. We are in support of MFLM, uh, uh, this uh, cashless uh, 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 policy. We don't want, the, if you have the new Naira, and if you know that you are conversing or you are a politician, you are, nice, you, 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 you are a candidate, and you believe you have the backing of the people, must you give them money? We discourage vote by. We all agree. We don't want vote by. No vote by. No vote by. If there is no vote by, why are you crying for extension of that naira? We both agree. We don't want vote by. If we don't want vote by the gate, and you cannot buy your vote anymore, why are you now crying? Why not return the money? Return the money. Let everybody vote their conscience. Let everybody go to the feed. Now, my sister, it's very simple. I don't know why you need the money for the election. It's only I make that need money for their logistics. Because, oh, not really. Like, for instance, like the Christians go to church on Sunday, once in a week. If they go to church on Sunday, will like, someone going to church come to me to say, I want to go to church, and uh, I need the naira, or I need this, I need this. You go to church to represent, your, to, to, to pray to your God. The mosque, the Muslim, they go to mosque on Friday. To worship. And is it not the same thing? What has changed there? What is the difference? Election day is still weekend Saturday. And that election day, the way you go to church and sit down in church, after the service you close and go home, same thing with election day. On election day, go quietly. Go quietly on election day. You don't need the money to spread around. Why are you, why are you crying? Why are you crying for the money? Just that our people in the village, in the rural communities, they don't have this information. They don't even know why the issue of new redesign, Naira, not everything has come about. They don't have that information. That's why we try to sensitize them. We should do our best. Anybody complaining that is not a politician, tell them the truth. This is the objective. This is the aim. The money is there. Why do you need it? Do you know at the time in this country, in this Lagos we are, at the time about the last election, William Van was found in someone's compound? Pull your van of money a, and if to the election, a day to the election, Friday to be precise. General election, bullion, two bullion van was found on someone's residence. As we speak, is there any investigation? Did anybody talk about that? Did anybody talk about that to this moment? Let a common man do that. And you see what will happen to that person. And nobody has even talked about that. And you want that same money. You want that same money. Now, if two bullion van was parked in someone's company and lived to the election to be distributed for election, and nothing happened, which means you have how many trailers as we speak now of old Naira note, which people are ready to convert election, to buy vote. We are saying buying of vote has come and he has died, has died a natural death. So you don't need money. Vote your conscience. If you have your conscience, really, as we are saying, go to the feed that they have vote your conscience without demanding money from anybody. Because the old Naira note is no longer there, is no longer your friend. All right, Barista, thank you for that. You know, the major challenge facing the masses right now is that the new Naira note is not in circulation. So what do we expect them to do? My dear, anything good does not there must be sacrifice they are producing yes they are printing we just need to be patient 
And we know the fact. Nigeria, we Nigeria, we are so dogged and we survive any situation. Because for any good politics, uh, poli policies to take place, there must be sacrifice. Anything good does not come easily. That's why they try to frustrate the central bank governor. I'm telling you, even the extension, they extended it now to about 10, uh, 17 days, there about. And then you have from now to 10 of this uh, month uh, of, of February to buy and sell with the money, return the money, right? But that on the 10th, it seems to be legal tender. And the seven, the seven days window grace you have again will enable you now to return the money. But you are not allowed to buy and sell anything with that money anymore after the 10th of October. But from 11 to 17th, you still have the opportunity to return all the money. And we are happy because this policy will favor the whole Nigeria in the nearest future. So we will not, because we are saying now, the election of this 2023 is a determinant factor to choose where, how best Nigeria will go. If that is the case, we discourage the issue of extension, which the National Assembly is conversing. We say no to it, and we are not ready. Aside for Kobe insecurity vote buying, with this new Naira note, you know, does it have any value on the Nigerian Naira? You know, Naira has been devalued for a long time. So does it have any value on the Naira? Yeah, hey, people see, 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 now. The, the, the foreign currency, the, the, the dollar, the dollar rate has even reduced. At a time before now, last year, middle last year, you know the weight was just going higher. 800 from 500, 600, 600, 650, 700, 800, 8 something. Can you imagine? But as we speak, since the introduction of this new Naira note, it has reduced drastically and our economy is becoming standard. I am not a spokesperson to the, to, uh, 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 to the CBN, but this is the fact. This is the fact. If you know that your next, your next door neighbor, even if he's your enemy, is saying the truth that we favor the entire neighborhood, stand for the truth. There is a cartel in charge of what they do. Even some bank officials, they are part of them. Some banks, some MDs of banks, they are part of it. Bank managers, they are part of that cartel. Because one, how come if you go to the bank, you will not see new notes? Mm -hmm. You that is a customer of the bank, you won't see new notes. Mm -hmm. Then you go to occasion, you see new notes to buy. The bank managers cannot claim uh, 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 ignorance of that. They know what they are doing. On many occasions, I have confronted my bank manager and said, how come I can't have new notes? How come I can't have new notes? They will just be laughing. Say, okay, if you don't have new notes, how come they selling it on the occasion in the market square? In Allen Avenue here. Everywhere. Balogo Market. In Lagos here. Why did you not spread around the market square? And they are, they are hawking is selling it. In an occasion, they are selling it. And you are telling me you are not aware. Something is fishy. They know what they are doing. See, the, the issue of the new notes now from the central bank. See, what a method is said is true. Whether you like it or not, they actually produce enough that would have circulated around. But what did they do? Because of the timing, because of the political time that we found ourselves, the, some of those politicians, they've connived with some of those bank directors, some of those bank managers. If they bring in, if they bring in three Ghana must go, be rest assured, two Ghana must go. We go to a particular uh, a, a politician. I'm telling you the truth. If you have, uh, for instance, two billion in any account, in any bank in Nigeria, even if it is one billion that you have as a bank customer, do you know if CBA supply new Naira note to that bank and they bring a four Ghana must go? You can conveniently ask for two bags of the new note and you'll be given. They will all keep quiet. Because they know if you don't release that money to them, you will treat them to you treat it to withdraw your money. And they will pay away you this. And you want to tell me end this with claim notices and uh, uh, ignorance of this? The managers will claim ignorance of this is a lie. There is no bank, there is no bank, quote me, in Nigeria, in Lagos, 
that CBA did not disclose money to the new note. But the masses are suffering and they are taking up against the central bank because they are not informed, they are not aware. They are not aware. So that's why people like you and I, we should use this avenue, this medium to educate our people. The grace of 10 days given by central bank is enough. And we thank God for that. As we speak, I'm even happy it was not extended to the six months the, the National Assembly is, is conversing. Because they are conversing it, forget what they are saying, that what they are saying is the interest of the masses. It's a lie. Don't ask extension for me. I did not tell you I need extension to return the old note. I don't need extension. We said we are comfortable with the central bank. All we need is we will be patient for now see after the election we don't need the old notes let return the old notes and manage what you have for the election outside that we are not taking any other thing thank you so much barrister for your time we are glad to have you thank you for your time if you're just joining the program i've been discussing with barrister godson in hinobile is a public analyst you know and then we're talking about the, um, the importance of the Naira and what we need to know. And I believe uh, we are able to reach out to someone today. And I also want you to share this video to enlighten the general public. You know, like I said at the beginning of the program, so many people felt they've been punished by the federal government, you know. And it's actually for our good, you know, from what we can hear today. So share this video, enlighten and educate people, you know, as much as you can, you know. Tell people the importance of the decision of the federal government. Um, join us on another episode with Barista on the State of the Nation on Friday as we'll be discussing the lingering for scarcity in Nigeria. Till I come your way next time, keep believing in Nigeria, vote wisely, and uh, vote for a better Nigeria.